Okay, today we are going to read Miss Nelson is Missing. While we're reading the text, we're going to think about some things that we see in the book. After we're done reading, I'm going to give you a worksheet, but these are some things that we're going to think about while we're reading the story and then fill out on our worksheet after we read the story. So we're going to think about the character name. You can pick from one of the two main characters. What the character says and does. How the character feels. What others think about the character, so that may be other students. And how I feel about the character. That would be how you feel. So we're going to think about that as we're reading the book. And then after we read the book, we're going to fill out our worksheet for character mapping. Okay? Does everybody understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Miss Nelson is Missing by James Marshall. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. Spitballs stuck to the ceiling. Paper planes whistled through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Oh, Miss Nelson took off her coat and hung it in the closet right next to that ugly black dress. When it was time for bed, she sang a little song. I'll never tell with a smile. So did we figure something out? Yes. yes. What was it? Okay. She was... Miss Nelson was who? The other teacher. Miss Swamp the whole time. Yes. I forgot her name. That was a good one. Yes. All right. Was. So I'm going to pass these out to y'all, and then we're going to talk about it. <laughs> that was so funny. That was so funny. She was acting like it so bad. She was so bad. Okay. So we all have a character map. Now, since y'all have never done character mapping before, and I'm introducing a new topic, we're going to do this one together. Yeah. But in the future, we're going to try to do them on our own and then go over them. Okay. Okay. So everybody write your name at the top of your paper. That's the most important. This so you lose it and everybody would know who it is. Right. right. Can y'all see better if I'm on this side or the other side? Um, y'all see better on this side? side. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, character map. We're going to use the clues in the story to find answers to these questions. So we're going to start in the middle with character name. So who is the character, the main character of the story? Yes, ma'am. Brooklyn. Miss Nelson. Miss Nelson. So in that blank, we're going to write Miss Nelson. So she is our main character of the story. Okay? So now we're going to go up here to our top right box. What the character says and does. What were some things that Miss Nelson said and did? Yes, sir. <laughs> I had it, but I put it, I lost it when someone, I lost it for something. I lost it. That's fine. Yes, ma'am. Give her. She was very nice. She was very nice. You need to go ahead and write that. Yeah, you can write that in your blank. We can write several things. Okay. Okay, what is something else? Something must be done. She did say something must be done. That is something she said. Alright, should be a long word. Something must be. Okay. Well, do you know why I put it in quotations where I put the little marks around it? Do you remember what quotations mean? Because it was happening. Don't move. Don't move. Because it was something that that character said word for word. Yeah. Is that right? You that word? And the next one. Um, so, what is something else that she said or did? I, I'm Walk yes, class. She did walk into class. Let's come up with a different one, though. Yeah, yeah. wait, story hour. That she did. She had a story hour. Does that mean you're at And the kid will move I have one more thing. Okay, what's your one more thing? Well, she said, did you miss me? She did say that also. So that would be something else that you could put in quotations and I ask. Okay. Yeah, she was sad because her students were being ugly. Yeah, something like that. So she was sad. But at the end of the story, what was she? Happy. She was happy because her students were being good. Yeah. 
So those are two main emotions that the character felt throughout the story. Okay, what others think about the character? What did the teachers think about Miss Nelson? You mean the kids? Yeah, the students. Okay. They felt like, where is Miss Nelson? They were, they were missing Miss Nelson. They were, they were missing her. And that's just, that's just one thing they felt about her at some point in time during the story. story. There are many. We're going to do one more, and then we'll move on to the next one. They, they felt sad. They felt sad that she was gone? Yes. And I feel like they also, if you'll remember, whenever she came back, they really, happy. they were really happy because... Appreciative. Oh. There's yes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to how I felt about the character. So how did you feel about the character as you were reading the story? Don't you have to write that down? I feel like um, that she's like kind of I'm not writing nothing else down. We'll raise our hands. Yes, sir. That she liked her students? That she loved her students. I definitely think she loved her students. Yeah. Nope. Oops. I fell down. It's fine. Yeah. I'm like, eh? Did anybody else have another feeling about her? We'll do one more. Yes, ma'am, Brooklyn. Um, I what was something, while you were reading the story, what is something that you felt about her, Miss Nelson? You felt happy? Yes. Like she made you happy? Yes. Because she loved her students? Yes. We go with happy. Oh. That's a good one, too. Oh, this is too much fun. Now, as y'all start doing more character maps, we're going to convert into writing full sentences. Today, we just hit points. I did bullet points because we just hit different points about this. But as you start to learn more about story mapping, you're, we'll write out in full sentence. So what the character says and does, she was a very nice teacher instead of just saying nice. So does everybody understand character mapping? Yes. Did y'all like it? Yes. Do you think that you yes. got something from the story? Yes. Do you think you learned more by doing this? Yes. Absolutely. We developed feelings about the character. I think y'all did a great job. I didn't really do this one because I really didn't want to. It's okay. I didn't feel like it.